All right, I'm really excited about this. It's a very familiar segment with a new twist. We've got our own Fox Sports insider here. Jay Glazer has been gracious enough to join us for another season of Ask Glazer. Please use the hashtag, hashtag Ask Glazer. Get your questions in. What better resource than the man himself? Jay, Ask thank, away, baby. thank Ask you away. so much. All right, let's 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 get into it, which I, this is a fascinating one. You talked about this this morning uh, from John Cash at It's Me Cash. He wants to know what's the deal with Justin Jefferson. Now, you did say right. with with regard to his contract, they're tabling it. Right. Can't help but notice the man went for nine and one fifty today. <laughs> I, I know in season deals are rare, but where I mean, where do you see this heading? When do you see some resolution of this situation? I, you know, here's the thing: when I did talk to the Vikings about it, I said we don't think we're going to get a deal done here. Obviously, before the start of the season, before Sunday's game, but they said there was no animosity. It was all good. Like, everything was good. They were okay tabling it till after the season. They know they're going to get a deal done with Justin Jefferson for the for the long haul. Um, and he just keeps putting numbers up like that. And other receivers get paid, let's say, during the year. He just goes up and up. So it, it, it's not like, you know, right now he's looking at it like, forget them. They didn't get me done right. for the start of the season. So that's it. I, I want out of this place. That's not the case. I know, you know, there's ups and downs to every season, but I think we can count on him doing that with some regularity. Right. I just feel like the price yeah, tag. He's different, man. He's he, different. He's different. Cat. different. He's, he's a difference maker. Absolutely. Okay. From Nicole LeBeau at Nicole LeBeau 3 wants to know which rookie quarterback you're excited to see this season. Already got a pretty yep. decent look at a few of them. Anybody stand out in particular? Anthony Richardson actually went in, gave a mental health talk to the Colts recently. Uh, and um, man, he's just right when you walked in there, you already knew that's the alpha in the room. That's the guy. Like he's the guy. And obviously he's going to, there's going to be a learning curve, um, but just incredibly athletic, really smart quarterback, really like players, the coaches, the GM up there, they were all love the cat and it's hard like rookies usually come in and sure you gotta take your time to you know you gotta you know as, as a rookie it takes a little time to really take you in like that but no he was the guy in there he, he's also he's gonna do some freaky things like when i looked at him it's kind of looking like man this guy's like julius pepper so it's like it's, it's up for the size of oh my god how big he is for yeah. a quarterback it's ridiculous yeah like the critique on it for him the critique on him was what 13 college starts or whatever yeah. but if that's not enough experience, but he's going to pick it up. But, but if just, that's yeah, he's absolutely just, yeah, his, his athleticism, but his size is just freakish. 260 he's like, yards, he's bigger than every linebacker in the league. Oh, 260 yards in, in his debut. I think he's going to be fine. Jack Serena fashion three. I'm so sorry if I get your names wrong. Wants to know, Jay, I'm a big Jets fan and the hype around us this year is crazy. Can Aaron Rodgers take the Jets to the playoffs yeah. this year? Yeah, I actually think he can. I, when I went to Jets camp, I, I bought in. And, you know, Jets culture there has been, you know, obviously a culture. They've always been second behind the Giants and third behind the Yankees. And that's what people don't realize, too, about the New York market. It's not You're not just going against the Giants and Jets. You're always going against the Yankees and c compared against their excellence. But, I, yeah, I totally bought in. I saw a different Aaron Rodgers uh, than I'd seen in the past. But here's the thing about the Jets, and it's a credit to Joe Douglas, the general manager over there, and the players that he and Robert Sala bring in. They're – Stars want to be great instead of famous. And that's a that's been a big problem with a lot of players who come to New York. They all want sure. to be Strahan, and none of them are. And what they didn't understand about Strahan, I was around him all that time. Right. He was constantly making sure football was number one. You may have seen him do a bunch of other shows and speaking engagements, but he outworked everybody. He worked at football. That was his, his trade and his craft, and he's realizing if I'm great at football, then the other stuff will come. Guys like Garrett Wilson, Sauce Gardner, and, and Quinn and Williams, and these young guys, they they get it, and especially in a city like that where they're trying to be great before their, their, their desire to be great is much stronger than their desire to be famous. I can't imagine a better cap. And being famous ain't the same as being great. Two totally different oh, things. Oh, absolutely. I can't imagine a better cap to week one than, oh, by the way, Aaron Rodgers and the Jets right. and Josh Allen. Like, that's what we get right. to wrap this thing up. It's going to be great. Love a good behind-the-scenes question to wrap this up from Rodney White. Says, who's one player you haven't interviewed yet that you'd like to? A player? A player, a player, a player. Maybe Joe Burrow. I haven't really talked to Joe, and I think he's, a, he's an entertaining dude. Yeah, so I haven't really been around him. I'm trying to think who's like, Who's like a crazy guy who's more up my alley? Who'd be, you know, I I, I usually hang out with the crazies, um, <laughs> but they're probably Joe Burrow. I, I mean, I think that fits just based on the little I know yeah. about Joe and his approach. I think that would be that would be a fitting. I'd love to see it. Jay Glazer, thank you so much it, for joining us. We'll have hashtag Jay back. Ask Glazer. Hashtag Ask Glazer. 
We will get your questions to him as often as we can. Jay, thank you so much. Appreciate the time. Thank you, brother.